Meme stocks are back, and one specific meme stock in particular has been surging. I'm your host, Chris Thompson, and this is an IRL Media News Hot Take. Let's get into it. I'm talking about GameStop, which rose to prominence thanks to Roaring Kitty and Reddit's Wall Street Bets phase during the COVID lockdown. Once again, the meme stock GME is costing short sellers a pretty penny to the tune of over $1 billion in losses from just a few days of the stock running up in value. Then again, no one ever feels bad for costing short sellers. Why is this all happening again? You can attribute the recent volatility in GameStop to a single tweet sent out by Roaring Kitty on May 12th that shows a gamer sitting up as if to say GameStop has Roaring Kitty's attention again. Or at least, that's how his fandom has reacted. It's not just GameStop whose stock is on fire lately. All the usual suspects of meme stocks have seen their prices rise, including AMC and the newly IPO'd Reddit. It's not like GameStop's financials have turned around. In fact, the company is probably doing worse than ever. According to Webbush analyst Michael Patcher, who covers GameStop, he said in an interview with CNBC, quote, I don't know of anything fundamental that would drive this stock higher. They're not in a position to be profitable. They made $6 million last year and burned cash and we expect them to lose $100 million a year going forward. So that doesn't sound like positive news that would drive the stock higher. Could it be that a single tweet after years of silence from the unofficial leader of inflicting pain on short sellers could be responsible for driving up GameStop's price more than 150% in a single week? Welcome to Meme Stocks. If you need a refresher on the whole GameStop meme stock era, all you have to do is watch the 2023 movie Dumb Money, which chronicle Roaring Kitty's battle with billionaire investors like Gabe Plankton's Malvin Capital, who lost so much money it had to shut down, and Ken Griffin's Citadel, which also lost billions of dollars short in GameStop. Speaking of good timing, AMC decided the recent run-up in their stock price by 30% represented a great opportunity to sell additional shares in the company to raise $250 million in desperately needed cash. Just how poorly have things been going over at AMC? Well... In 2023, the company had a net loss of $318.8 million, which if you want to look on the bright side of things, is an improvement year over year, because in 2022, they lost $409.1 million. So, things are getting better, if you will, but when you're losing hundreds of millions of dollars a year, and consumers aren't coming back to the movies like they did in the before times, then you have some financial issues that you're probably going to want to take care of pretty soon. Do you think the whole meme stock mania is back for good? Let me know down in the comments what you think. Thanks. I'm your host, Chris Thompson, and this has been an IRL Media News Hot Take.